triceps so you can do it right over the, that tendon <laughs> right at the very uh, and you'd be surprised do it on each other you'd be surprised how that will facilitate you okay. pull it into we extension so you literally could have your hand here and facilitate that and when you're here you can have her shift into this hand so you can have her just do some shifting and facilitate here and get some weight bearing into it because weight bearing return it facilitates return. Weight bearing facilitates normal return. So you want to do some weight bearing into that arm. Again, what I would do to facilitate her arm is I would start her here and I would have her push. And if she can go all the way into extension, I would do that. And I would do this probably 10 times. And I'm just resisting her to where she's having to push into my hand, like I did with y'all, okay? So I would start there to kind of wake up, facilitate that muscle. And then I would have her come into extension and to push from the shoulder. So I'm resisting her. And I actually want you to have some movement here. Like actually, okay. yeah, okay, so push, push, push. Push. So you're getting out of that retraction into a protracted position. So I, I start every, almost every stroke I have. This is these are the first few things I do with them after I've gotten them into the you know in a good trunk position. So I'm just showing. So then I would keep it straight. I mean you don't have to start where I start, but I, do, I always do that first to kind of facilitate that arm and wake it up. And actually, to kind of get it out of retraction. Are you supposed to keep it? So if they're out here, they're kind of working it in that position. And so then, uh, but this would be a good place if you're. What you could do is have her push into this, and you could have her using this arm to reach for different things, right? So she could do that. You could be working with her trunk while you're facilitating this arm just a little bit with the, at the tricep. So you could have her. Reach up here, reach out here, because you want to take her out of that anterior tilt and get her back into, you know, get her back into that position. So when she actually set up straight, what happened to that elbow? Went into full extension, didn't it? So we don't really want it in full extension because we don't function with our elbows in full extension. So we want a little bit of a bend when we're doing that. Okay. And you're doing the body on a relatively stable arm when you're doing reaching. You know, she's reaching and push over here. So she's moving her body on that arm. And then you want her to come back every time into her position. Pat going across the line. Which side is it that, which hemiplegia has more trouble with going midline? Left or right? 
left. I mean, she's a left Emmy. We made her a left Emmy. I didn't even realize what we were doing. So see, she's overcome. Um, another thing that I really like that I've used quite a bit, if I couldn't get anything else going with a patient, is uh, the PVC pipe when I'm trying to get anything. Just think some kind of a stick. This one may not actually be long enough, but um, this is a real good one to make them move into pushing up. So you can put it as low as you want. And the other thing that they're having to do is maintain this. Normally they'll fall over. So you may have to actually maintain it here and have them go into pushing it up. They're so excited when they do this one, by the way, because it um, just starts to, they can see their arm moving. They can do something. So, I, and again, we don't really want them to pull backwards because we don't want to pull into that flexion synergy. We always want to push forwards. Everything is away from that synergy. And that's normal movement. But this is here. This is plenty strong. So we want to work away from that. So you can do that. You could actually have her move even out in this area. And that's even more away from it. So see, that's just an easy thing to do. PVC pipe is cheap. You can buy it anywhere. And I have, I've got some really big. And then I've got a little smaller in this. But this is a good hand. And then just a stick to use. Um, I forgot my pole. I used to have two really nice poles. Let's I know something I, yeah, I could. 